I love Anonymous this year. Holy shit. It's so fucking epic. Um, I'm looking at all these different Anons and all their different sects and all the different groups and the multiple collectives and the multiple countries that are doing multiple things. And it's fucking great. It's fucking great. Um, props, props to the ones that are using Translator. I've noticed that a lot of that's going around now. Um, you know, you're typing it out, translating it, talking to foreigners. Way to go, you know what I'm saying? Communicate within the countries. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you know what I'm saying? We're all in this world together, and it's taking time, and it will take time, but slowly we will get the planet to realize that we are one world, and we need to stand up as a new world order against the fucking corrupt. See, they got their new world order, and that's what they, they, they coined it. Well, our world order is happening. And uh, life is on the up and up in general. Uh, I noticed that uh, marijuana got legalized in um, Washington and Colorado. And due to that, other states are watching it. Now, something that uh, I noticed on our TV, on our news here in Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Alabama, they're talking about it. But they talk about it every year, right? Alabama, on our news station... They took the time, and the guy that's running the news place sits there and chit-chats about his view about it, and about how it should be socially talked about, and how uh, with the legalization of pot, more and more people are realizing that drugs are bad, and they're taking pot away from it, because the problem from back in the day is... They go around saying drugs are bad, drugs are bad, drugs are bad, and then somebody smokes a joint, and they're like, well, that wasn't that bad. And then they try other things because they were lied to about the first one. See what I'm saying? I mean, it was the lie in the get-go that really fucked up a lot of kids, a lot of people. Uh, you know, if, if weed ain't that bad, why not coke, why not crack, why not heroin, right? And that, that's their way of thinking. And, yeah, it's wrong. It, you know, it's off, but... It's from their reality, their perspective, you know, the way they see things, you know. If they were told, you know, cigarettes are drugs, caffeine's a drug, pot's a drug, and then they put heroin and coke and meth and pills all in the same category, then it just makes us feel that they lied about the whole thing whenever they're passing out cigarettes at the gas station, passing out damn alcohol at the gas station. And weed is the lesser of all the drugs and, minute, and mind-altering substances. You know, it's the lesser of all of them. So, you know, that's why it's a gateway. And another reason why marijuana is considered the gateway drug is because, damn, cops use it in order to find other drugs. So, I'm actually curious now to see what illegal drug use trafficking, you know, the illegal drug use trade is going to do now because you're going to have to know people that selling coke and heroin and all that shit in order to get that shit you know you can't just go to your everyday pot dealer now because your pot dealer is going to be gone you know what I mean so all the people that normally get pot they're not going to be around the pills and stuff like that for the most part because they're not going to be selling that in the pot stores and paranoia is just, it comes natural with the drug trade. So the dealers are going to either slip up and expose themselves or they're going to minimize who they're selling to. And that right there will keep it within their generations. You know, our generations might be using drugs, but the generations in the future might not. And it's a social thing that needs to be pointed out that, you know, crystal meth will ruin your life, heroin will ruin your life coke and shrink your dick, you know, stuff like that, you know, people need to know these things, and they need to know it on a social level, not on uh, a legal level, you know, without this fear of punishment above you, you know, just teach it to them in common sense, you know, teach them, hey, look, don't do this, don't do that, you know, and here's why, you know, make your own decision, it's like, you know, you're wearing a coat whenever it's fucking freezing outside. You know, we know that we need to wear a coat. If we don't, we'll freeze to death and die. You know, we're not stupid, you know. 
Now, if you created a law that tells me that I have to wear my jacket outside in the cold, I promise you that I will not wear a fucking jacket outside in the cold just because you think that you're above me. And that's how humans are. Okay, we don't like people thinking they're above us. And that's why I don't try to get above anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not above anybody. I'm just one guy. You know what I'm saying? One guy with some fucked up opinions. Okay? Fucked up to others, not to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel that my opinions are just. But to others, you know, I'm off kilter. So, that being what it is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video out short. Um, started on one topic, jumped on the pot for some reason. Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, very impressed by all the anons and everything they're doing. Um, I want others to understand that there's a lot of lack of communication that's going on right now because of everybody's busy schedules and everybody's preoccupied, you know, with their missions and their ops. Uh, this is a thick fucking op year and, you know, a lot of people are busy. So, uh, don't get your head down, you know, don't get all depressed because people aren't communicating and people aren't sharing and posting, uh, because people are... They're checking it out, whatever, but their activity is going to be minimal because there's so much other stuff going on. <clears throat> uh, once again, if anybody has any ideas for any ops that need to be done, uh, by all means, hit me up, let me know, and I'll talk to some people about that. Um, uh, of course, you know, you all, you know, and on stuff, you know what I'm saying, y'all know where to go, but all the new ones, you know what I'm saying, all the people that, the supporters and the ones that are looking into it. Uh, you know, y'all go ahead and communicate to me if you want to, uh, but know that in no way am I the leader of Anonymous. Anonymous does not have leaders. Uh, new Anonymous, new Anon, fucking YRV stuff, you know, they got the little boat and new Anon. You know, that right there is just an, a blatant fucking bullshit, you know what I mean? Leaders, you know what I'm saying? We're all leaders. We're all equal, okay? We all follow, we all lead. A great leader follows, you know what I'm saying? We're all in this together. Alright, we're all a team here. And, uh, we just gotta, you know, be sure of keeping that, you know, known. Um, y'all, y'all think that some big oaks have been chopped down because some anons aren't active, active, but they're, uh, non socially active, okay? Um, but seeing how they're not socially active, that's giving way for others to take the reins of the socially active. Uh, notice the new accounts, notice the new videos, notice the new um, uh, channel comments on everybody. Uh, I think it's fucking badass. So check out y'all's hits, y'all's analytics. They're fucking on the up and up. This year is better than the last year. Um, hell, it's only the first week in this year, too. So, you know, second week in this year. So, you know, it's on the up and up. But I'm going to cut this. Y'all have a great one.